Hi, Tilty Carlson here. Today we're going back in time to the 1990s and taking a look at a cult classic that's become a personal favorite of mine over the years. What we're looking at today is Tank Girl, which has been reissued on Blu-ray in Australia by Umbrella Entertainment. I'm going to unbox this release and share my opinions. Great close-up of the title character there. You got your backing card down here that's got the Blu-ray logo, Umbrella's logo, and an Australian content rating. Side of the case, uh, other side of the case. Back of the backing card with all our pertinent info and a few screenshots from the film. I do want to clarify, it says right here this is a Region B disc, but it is not region locked and it'll work just fine in any American player. Underneath the slip cover, we've got more arts of our title character in a few different color schemes. Underneath, we have our case with the disc in it. Here's the actual Blu-ray disc of the film. Of course, it's bright pink, which suits the, the film and Lori Petty's character. There is reversible art, but it's the same as the art that's on the outside, just without the Australian content ratings there. So if you do want the unadulterated cover art without those rating symbols covering it up, you have that luxury there. In the future, the odds of survival are 1,000 to 1. That's just the way she likes it. The year is 2033. A meteor has hit the Earth, turning its once lush surface into a barren wasteland of rolling sand dunes and desecrated remnants of civilization's past. The despotic Department of Water and Power now runs the show, hoarding the last remaining vestiges of Earth's meager water deposits with a savage brutality. Only two things stand in the way of the evil company's CEO, the power-mad dictator Kessley, and total world domination. An army of mutant half-men, half-kangaroo fighters known as the Rippers and Tank Girl, a spunky, foul-mouthed warrior woman armed with nothing but a modified M5A1 Stuart tank and oodles of attitude. Kissley had better get a grip on his water jugs as nothing will stop Tank Girl and her allies from taking him on and taking him down. Tank Girl, of course, flopped at cinemas back in the day. It did not get the best reviews from critics. And, of course, the R rating prevented a lot of people who wanted to see the film from going to see it. That said, over the years, it has become a cult classic on home video. And I only discovered this one a few years ago, but it's certainly become a personal favorite of mine. Lori Petty is an actress. I don't really think it's talked about enough. And it's almost as if they wanted to make this film to be a star vehicle for her and try to launch her career. Sadly, it never really worked on that scale when it comes to this movie being a big blockbuster because it did flop at the box office. But Lori Petty's performance here is one for the ages. She just has an absolute blast playing this character. She's got a witty retort for every single situation. And her spunky attitude throughout the movie is laugh-worthy, and it makes for a heroine that you just absolutely fall in love with. Naomi Watts portrays Jet Girl, one of her allies who, of course, she helps to escape from one of the Department of Water and Power camps, and it's not long before they go on a rescue mission to try to rescue one of Tank Girl's friends who was captured during an attack on her home. And for a villain, what better man is there to play a villain than Malcolm McDowell? I don't think there's any man in the history of cinema who plays villains better than this guy. I mean... From Clockwork Orange back in the day to playing an incarnation of the devil in American Satan a few years back. I love this guy and everything he's in. Even if the movie's not good, Malcolm McDowell always gives a performance for the ages. And he remains one of my personal favorite actors. We even get Ice-T playing the leader of those bizarre half-human, half-kangaroo ripper creatures that have been wreaking havoc, making things tough for the Department of Water and Power. If all of this sounds silly, ridiculous, and over the top, it most definitely is. You can probably pretty much tell from my description of this film if it's something you'd be into or not. The movie, of course, was based on a comic book, and there are some comic book-style transition scenes and a few animated scenes as well, which really helps to give the movie something of an atmosphere of its own, setting it apart from many of its contemporaries of the day. And there's a great soundtrack of alternative rock, including acts like Bush, Veruca Salt, and Scott Weiland. May he rest in peace. The movie is what it is, and whether that's a good or a bad thing, again, will depend entirely on you. I've seen a lot of cinematic versions of the post-apocalypse before, but I don't think any of them have been as fun and as entertaining as the one that we see in Tank Girl. It's earned its cult classic status, and I always have a blast revisiting this one. Tank Girl looks pretty decent in this Blu-ray release, but you can't help but wonder if this movie is really due for a new scan and a 4K Ultra High Def release. The movie does get a nice little boost here, I don't own the out-of-print release from Shout Factory, so I can't really do a comparison between the two. 
I would say this is a good looking release of the movie overall, but again, I really do think this could look better with a new scan, and I really hope when it comes time for Tank Girl to make its ultra high def debut, it does get cleaned up and it does get that new scan that it really needs. That said, this release certainly does not look bad. There are several bonus features on here, both new and old. We get some interviews newly recorded for this release from Umbrella Entertainment, and then we get a few archival things on here as well. So it's a pretty nice supplement package. Umbrella has also put out a release that's a little more elaborate that has some extra swag in it. I just opted for the disc-only version in this case, but again, I am pretty happy with this package overall. Tank Girl is a lot of fun. It's the cult classic you can't help but fall in love with. It's certainly not going to be for everybody, but if you're one of those people like me who grew up in the 90s and you want the ultimate retro movie experience, can you really do any better than Tank Girl? How about you? What do you think of Tank Girl? Did you pick up this Blu-ray release from Umbrella Entertainment yet? Comment down below and let me know what you think. Also, remember to subscribe to this channel for more content. I'm always posting new videos. And make sure you give us a like if you found it helpful. I'm Taylor T. Carlson. I'll see you next time.